Okay, this is Gamer Blave, and here we are with Ghost of Tsushima, Director's Cut. And I played this game when it came out and absolutely loved it. I loved basically everything about it. And I've wanted to revisit the game, especially when they came out with uh, Iki Island and the Director's Cut, which I think has some new abilities, a couple of new enemies and things like that in it. So basically, I just want to get back into it. I want to, I want to play the game again. And um, yeah, I just... I, 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 yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty much it. I want to. I want to. I want to go for it again. Um, I didn't really want to do um, a new game plus. In fact, I actually started. Uh, I, I had started another new game sometime after I had played it uh, initially. Uh, so uh, we're not going to go with uh, just continue. We're going to go with uh, a new game, and, and then we'll we'll um, yeah we'll we'll just kind of talk about all that stuff uh, as we as we go through it here. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um. There, um, I actually did, I actually did record a couple of episodes, um, uh, of this series and, uh, I, I was not, I was not satisfied with the quality of it. Uh, so actually I am re-recording the first couple of episodes here. Um, but, uh, that's fine. Cause I just really love playing the game. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to put it on hard. Uh, let's go, let's put it. Um, I can't, uh, I can't actually go back and do that again, but, uh, the, uh, the other one I think was just, um, uh, the, uh, the next level up is, is going to be too much. In fact, hard, in my opinion, the very beginning of the game, uh, in fact, for the first good while before you start really getting some abilities and, uh, and since I haven't played in a while, uh, other than, other than the, like I said, I recorded a couple of episodes, uh, it's been a long time since I played. Um, the the beginning of the game is just really really brutal. In general, I mean, you just take a lot of damage, and um, and it's very very easy to die. Uh, so I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with English, just English dialogue for right now. Um, if you want me to, um, go ahead and uh, you can you can ask me to uh, put on um, the uh, subtitles, and I can do that. Um, I will um, p potentially occasionally do a Kurosawa episode because I really actually like this effect. Uh, the main reason that I do not do the Japanese dialogue with English subtitles is uh, it's it's really simple. When I'm uh, when I'm watching a movie, um, I'm not I, I'm not um, too I don't have too much of a problem with uh, playing with sub or, or uh, doing that with subtitles. But uh, for some reason, when I'm in a game, if I'm trying to concentrate on too many things, then uh, I find that I, I'm just drawn to those subtitles and I can't really actually concentrate on what's on screen, uh, what I'm doing with the, with the controller, manipulating the experience, and then, uh, you know, actually really see what's going on. So, I mean, I guess I just don't have, I don't have the brain power to do that many things at the same time. So, um, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Dudes, to slow the invasion. My goodness. Today, I die for my people. There must be thousands of them. We will face death and defend our home. Tradition, courage, honor. They are what make us. We. Are the warriors of Tsushima. We are samurai! Nodadachi. Go break their spirits. Hey! Man, to just know that you're gonna 
to face death like that, that's just incredible. 80 guys against that. Look at that. That's absolutely insane. That is insane. The Mongols were not screwing around there, at least as depicted in this game. Outsiders, send your finest warrior to face me. Nada, Jinnida. I am Haru Nobu Adachi, descendant of the legendary Yoshi Nobu Adachi. That's just despicable. be like I'm not gonna duel you you know that would be a better way of dealing with that but certainly shows his uh his true colors he has no um well certainly no respect for their um their code of honor oh my gosh look at this that cavalry charge was much more effective than I would have thought Uh, but it only gets you so far. My gosh. Man, did you with me? We've lost so many. We have to keep pushing, Lord Sakai. Even if it cost us our lives. As a command, Lord Shimura. Lucky we didn't break something when we fell. Look at this. Men, we must hunt down the Mongol leader. It's incredible that... with me. Look at this. It's incredible this many guys Lord made it this far. God. Like I said, but there's there are 80 guys and like 20 dudes made it this far. Then we have to be really, really um like I said, we're going to take a ton of damage when we get hit, so we got to be really careful, really proactive in defending ourselves. Man, they're chopping our dudes down. Come on. Bring it on, dude. Yeah, the, whoa, these guys are going down pretty easily. But they killed all of our guys. We're all that's left. There is only one path for us. Find the Mongol leader and end him here. I'll fight beside you to the end. I know. Man, two dudes, and they're just like, yeah, let's just keep running into this. I mean, they've already, they, they've already accepted it, like, completely. The Mongol leader. I'm ready, uncle. We end this together. Dang.
My goodness, guys. Just to have your whole army wiped out, like... It's kind of incredible that he could only bring 80 guys to bear, though. It, it does seem kind of strange. I am Kotan, cousin of Kublai, grandson of Genghis. Sharpening your sword. Do you know how I prepared for today? I learned. I know your language, your traditions, your beliefs, which villages to tame and which to burn. So I'll ask you once again, Samurai. Do you surrender? My goodness. Just stares him in the face. That's, man. I guess the thing about the 80 guys that I was, I was thinking about, I mean, if those ships just show up, you don't really have a whole lot of time, I guess, to react. So maybe that's all the guys that he could come together with uh, on such short notice. got blown up in two arrows in the back pretty crazy to be able to live through something like that um <laughs> this has got to be so discombobulating you just wake up when you really don't think that you were gonna wake up I mean when he passed out he was not expecting to ever see consciousness again, I'm sure. Now he's <laughs> just like, where the heck am I? It's just got to be surreal. How did I get here? Um, Mongols. Man, uh, living back then, um, you know, on uh, probably any coastal area. Get me back here. Maybe they have my sword. Yeah. Um, any coastal area that was invaded. I mean, that would just be that would just be crazy because it's not like you're just going to have a, a massive standing army everywhere. So it's basically like every place, uh, you know, <laughs> any place that gets invaded. That is uh, the, at least the initial in place that gets invaded, um, where the landing happens is just going to get wrecked. Someone um, was sharpening their blade. A warrior. My armor. Nice. Um, Broken. But better than nothing. Wait. So, like, even, even if um, the island of Tsushima uh, would have enough forces to deal with that like spread out the the initial place where those guys landed that they certainly wouldn't be able to you know you just land all in one place and and you're definitely going to win that 
conflict, the initial conflict. Back inside. No. How are your wounds? Can you run? I I think so. Where's my sword? Not here. You're on here. I'll take care of this. Here's a quick healer. Oh, oh, don't hurt me! <laughs> Shield of the mini! Christ! That is pretty ornate armor. Who are you? I'm Yuna. You want your sword? Follow me. How long was I out? Long enough for the Mongols to conquer half the island. Oh, okay, so we've been we've been uh, out for a while. That dude nearly spotted us. Let's move this way. That meter moves up pretty quick. Wait. There's nothing we can do for her. But I can save the others. And you gotta be some kind of sadistic to just be laughing about like slaughtering what unarmed you know villagers. Battlefield. Jito, forget him. Yuna, wait. Lord Shimura is my uncle. You're Jin Sakai? The Jito's nephew? I have to know. Did he survive? I think so. The Mongols took him prisoner. Where did they take him? East, along the coast. Toward Castle Canada. They must be holding him inside, celebrating their victory. I could take them by surprise. You'll be killed. Or I'll rescue Lord Shimura. Then help him drive the Mongols into the sea. He can contact the Shogun. Call for reinforcements. I didn't nurse you back to health to watch you throw your life away. Why did you save me? I couldn't leave you to die. I need your help. Lord Shimura can help our whole island. And he's the only family I have left. Let's move. So I was watching that first scene um, where... Um, uh, Kota Khan and Lord Shimura meet face to face and I was trying to pay attention to it because you know it really looks like Kota kills him like he cuts him down my yeah, it's just brutal right there my best guess is that Kota um, hits him with the flat of the blade that's my best guess because it does look like he's kind of holding the sword sideways. Um, so, you know, I don't know that. You know, maybe he just swings it in front of him, tries to intimidate him or something like that. But it looks like he knocks him over uh, with it. So I think he hits him with the flat. Move. Probably meant to like humiliate as much as hurt. Whoa, whoa. We cleared the road. If we cross, someone's bound to see us. I'll take that chance. Wait, the cart. I mean, they're pretty much holding us by the the hands here, but I do imagine that if you let one of these guys see you, then uh, you're pretty much screwed. 
I haven't done it. I'm not quite that incompetent yet. More gods. We'll take the rooftops. Whoa, whoa. Okay, maybe I am that incompetent. <laughs> Climb roofs, scavenge battlefields. You're a thief. When I need something, I take it. Like my katana. I traded it for food and medicine. You what? Don't worry. We'll find the buyer. Get your sword back. I hope you got a lot of food and medicine for that stuff. Of course, I mean, she has nursed me back to health, so... Long ride ahead. Take whatever supplies you can carry. This is someone's house. And they're not coming back. Yeah, I mean, there's a dead person right here. Uh, that is probably a uh, former inhabitant. So, yeah. I think, I think we're safe to take this. Plus... I mean, I'm going to walk into, uh, you know, inhabited houses and take, uh, help myself to all the supplies I possibly can. Man, I traded your sword to lives just up ahead. Uh, something tells me he doesn't live anymore. Something tells me pretty much no oh. civilians live anymore. Bastards found him. Stand watch. I'll search the house. He will answer for this. It must be here. Okay, let's have a look. Nice. I am Jin Sakai, nephew to the great Lord Shimura. And I am no coward! <laughs> Your enemy is no match for you. But you still lack control. I was practicing. With your father's weapon? The sword of Clan Sakai has saved lives and ended wars. Who did this to you? No one. I will teach you to defend yourself. I know how to fight. Master your blade. You must first control your emotions. I can do that, Uncle. Show me. I really, really like Lord Shimura. I think that's probably going to come out in my uh, commentary. I am uh, very biased to that character. Um, also, I, I don't really remember learning a whole lot about Let's see. Um, Jin's father. Try to strike me. Yes, uncle. Okay, quick attacks. Ready. Heavy attacks. Those are slower than molasses. Me. Slower than molasses in January. Well done. If you'd fought like that, your attacker would not have bruised you so easily. It wasn't a fair fight. Imagine he's returned to finish what he started. And he'll use every dirty trick he knows. How will you defend yourself? I will lure him in. He's big, but I'm quicker. I'll stay out of his reach. Wait for him to get tired. Then drop him with one strike. Good. A samurai must always fight with patience and discipline. Even when his opponent resorts to trickery. I'll remember, Uncle. Now, break through my defenses. Show me Jin Sakai is a warrior of great courage. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna need to do that a lot. Break my block with a heavy attack. Then strike quickly. Enough! <laughs> I yield. You let me win. Not at all. If you held a real sword, I would be dead. Really? I would never lie to you, Jin. Now for a change, try to block my attacks. I think he's just in... I think he's just embellishing the truth here. A fine block. Yep. I'm doing really well just holding L1 here. I'm sore. Can we take a break? We're not finished yet. Find your resolve and fight through the pain. Good. Okay, our resolve meter. We have very little resolve and very little health um, uh, to start out with. It's time you learn to parry. 
Wait for me to make the first move. Once I strike, block my attack. A fine parry. Yeah, they make the they make these tutorial parries pretty easy. You're improving. Need to catch your breath. <laughs> it will take more than a child to knock the wind out of me. Now then, let's see you defend against a spear. Dodge my spear, then follow up with a counterattack. Good reflexes. Excellent counter. Excellent dodge. Remember, oh. dodge, then counterattack. You have a small opportunity to strike. Use it. No, I'm I'm not getting that counterattack. There is no weapon, no warrior you cannot overcome. Thank you for these lessons, Uncle. We are not finished yet. Jin Sakai, will you honor me with a sparring match? I wouldn't want to hurt you. If you want <laughs> let's make this interesting. The first to land five strikes gets to choose dinner. I hope you like octopus. <laughs> Very good, Jin. You show great. Oh, I'm racking you, dude. Easy peasy. Yeah, I always struggled with the uh, the spearmen. Um, I think we're going to find that out probably as we go. Question. For generations, our families have lived by a code. Tell me the virtues that guide us. Loyalty to our Lord. Control over our emotions. And... You know this. Honor. To fight bravely and uphold the legacy of Clan Sakai. Those are your father's words. What does honor mean to you? I guess protecting people, the ones who can't fight for themselves. You have a good heart. But first, we must show everyone that we serve our Lord with courage, integrity. And self control. You say that like it's easy. It's never easy, Jin. I struggle with it every day. But we must set an example for our people by remaining true to our code and to ourselves. That is the meaning of honor. Not yeah. I like that little smirk on Jin's face. And it's a dude with a spear. Okay. Well, we took care of that guy. Good. You found your sword. Where can I find a horse? The stables aren't far. This way. I really like the way that they uh, they tell the stories. Um, uh, those flashback stories. Uh, that, that's that's really neat. Uh, I. Islands crawling with them. Where are the stables? Behind that burning farmhouse. Follow me. Like I was saying, though, I, I do hope that we get to find out more about his father. You know how he was saying the sword of Clan Zakai, you know, it has uh, ended wars and, um, oh shoot, what was the other thing? And like, saved lives. Um, we can get close, slit their throats, and kill them without a sound. Without honor. I will not break my code. Face me, invader! Okay. Well, just told us how to target them there. That's close. We can't save everyone. Sorry, I wasn't reading I'm that. I'm running, and I can finally help. <laughs> Damn it! As I said, I just played this scene, so I was like, I was kind of on autopilot there. Um, but but uh, what I was talking about was um um. 
yeah, his father. I don't, like I said, I don't remember a whole lot about him, so I don't know if we get to learn about him or not. Okay, took those guys out. Managed to dispatch all these guys pretty easily. Thank you, my lord. They said all the samurai were dead. Do you have somewhere to hide? I heard Golden Temple might be safe. Go. Stay off the roads. And guard your son with your life. You risked your life for them. They couldn't defend themselves. And I... I can't let more of our people die. They're not the only ones who need you. My brother. The Mongols took him. That's why you saved me. Taka is my only family. And Lord Shimura is mine. Please. I just want my brother back. I'll help you find him after I save my uncle. I promise. I'm coming with you. Stables are just up ahead. Oh, man. Whoa, whoa, did not dodge that very well, or at all. You're dead. Oh, Yuna's up there getting wrecked. Um, usually, I think the NPCs are uh, capable of holding their own, but she was actually getting stomped, it looked like. Samurai horses. The few we didn't take into battle. Lucky for them. And us. Which horse do you want? Um, I think that I'm going to go with this one because <laughs> this one says uh, digital deluxe on it. So this is the this is the new horse. Yeah, you got to pick from these three. But since I just got the director's cut, I think I'm going to go with uh, uh, the new one that uh, that I couldn't Easy pick before. Guy. He suits you. And he needs a name. Uh, you can go with Nobu, which means trust. Sora, which means sky. Or Kage, which means shadow. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Nobu. Nobu. Trusty companion. You have chosen to name your horse Nobu. Trust. This will be your companion's name for your entire journey. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'm, I'm as sure as I can be. He should be a good horse. Komodo Town. All right, they're just taking us straight there. They're not fooling around with it. No, no exploration, no nothing. We're going right there to Castle Canada. Castle Canada. They're holding your uncle inside. The walls are too high to climb. We could cause a distraction. Sneak in. No. We walk in the front gate. Kotun Khan set fire to our best swordsmen. Humiliated my uncle. Butchered the warriors of Tsushima. I'm going to repay his kindness. By repeating the same mistakes that got your friends killed. That's what the Mongols will think. But this time, I'll strike first. Wait they will until I finish them. They will never expect a full frontal attack. Okay, standoffs. Um, so... In the very unlikely event that uh, you haven't played this game or don't haven't experienced this game, uh, uh, I will go through uh, some of the stuff. Um, but this is just um, when approaching an enemy, uh, enemy territory, you challenge foes uh, to a standoff. Once your enemy approaches, hold triangle. As soon as they attack, release it to defeat them in one deadly strike. Now the problem with this, or the the trade-off, <laughs> the downside is that if you uh, mess up your reaction here, then you get wrecked. You get totally wrecked, and they get much harder as uh, as time goes on. Uh, to my recollection, to my recollection. All right, who's next? Yeah, I'm. I primarily, um, I would say, am a defensive fighter. I usually wait for them to attack, unless, 
Don't Unless it's the, the kind of enemy that you really have to attack if you have to be aggressive with them. The Mongols fired them off at the beach. Oh, that was a good attack. Yuna just wrecked that dude with the spear. I mean, we're just cutting these guys down. Just... They've got nothing. Keep moving. We can't retreat. Oh, gosh. That, that guy took me down a peg. We've got to heal. We've got to heal again, really. Yeah, we're not... Uh, we... we uh, once I get off my rhythm, then I usually start going. taking a lot of damage. I have to fall back. Alone? Keep the path clear. When I find Lord Shimura, we'll need a quick escape. I'll get the horses ready. Do it. If I'm not back soon, ride for the forest. Man, I think Jin just is like, I'm gonna go die now. Oh, right. eat that dude. Uh, we'd actually hit him a couple of times before we broke his block, surprisingly enough. I'm glad the spearman didn't, didn't attack us while we were doing that. That was convenient. Oh, that worked out well. Dodging arrows. Before firing arrows, Mongol archers will call out and signal their allies to duck. Uh, I'm going to go straight for the archer. Because I don't want to have to bother. I don't want to have to bother uh, dodging arrows while fighting a dude. That's just not uh, not my cup of tea, guys. Not my cup of tea. Are you cowards? See if we can beat this guy. I don't like that light on him. Made it a little bit harder to see him, in my opinion. Because it was backlight. It wasn't like a, a, a frontal light. Okay, you guys are toast. Kotan was just curious. Your uncle like, that was his, the look on his face. About you, Jin Sakai. I will show him his nephew, broken and humiliated, begging to join the Mongol Empire. Jin. He's not intimidated at all this that I just cut through his entire force out here. Lord Sakai. Come here to go. Your uncle is watching. Oh man. Submit, Jeez. Slit your throat. Gee whiz. Oh. 
I couldn't dodge that if I wanted to. Well, we, we've got a couple of licks in, but he is basically taking no damage. And we are wrecked. Oh man, it's so fast. Enough. Surrender. Show your uncle how easily he can bring peace to your home. Eat that, dude. Jeez. My goodness. I I wonder if again. Jin. Help me. Okay, what that guy just said there, may your death benefit all beings. That is quite a thing to say to someone when you kill them. I mean, you've got to have some kind of really deep-seated hatred for them. I mean, that's just that's just a fascinating thing to say to someone. That's, a, that's an awful memory, too. My goodness. I'm coming, Yuriko. That is, uh, that's just, uh, that's uh, an awful memory. Um, but anyway, guys, I think that that is, um, I think that that is where we are going to cut it for this one. Um, man, that's, um, that's a pretty, uh, pretty incredible introduction, I think, to the game. Um, we have, we've survived two things that I think are uh, pretty, uh, pretty incredible. Um, so, uh, we, we got, uh, we got blown up and, and shot with, the uh, uh, two arrows and, uh, managed to make it out of that. And then we got, uh, uh cut up with, um, uh, Koten Khan's, um, I don't, I don't even know what the, the word for that is. It's not, um, I, I forgot what the name of that weapon is, but we got cut up with his uh, his weapon and then thrown off a very very high bridge, um, and managed to manage to survive that. So, and Jin's got to be asking himself some questions like, "How did I survive that? And you know, why why did I survive that?" So, that is that is something that we are going to have to figure out for ourselves. And now we're having another flashback to childhood. Um, and uh, you know, hopefully that will hopefully that will illuminate some more stuff. This is uh, looks like the uh, armor of um, the armor of his father uh, that we saw in that flashback there. Has come to mourn your father. Can't you um, send them away? You must face them, Jin. And um, you but are now the master of Clan Sakai. Yes. You're not alone, Jin. <sighs> But, uh, your father is the wind at your back. Your mother, the birds in the trees. And uncle? He will tell you. Oh, okay. Well, there. she's just going to keep talking. Thank you, Yuriko. I didn't mean to trigger. I didn't mean to trigger her uh, talking. I wanted to save that for the next one. Uh, but uh, maybe we'll be able to load this checkpoint and uh, and do that in the next one. Because that's what I, I, that was my intention. My intention was to save all that uh, for the next one because I do want to get into whatever is, well, whatever they have. I just bumped the mic. Sorry, guys. Uh, whatever they have in store um, for us uh, in the next one. Bye, guys. But anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. We are going to be picking up right here next time.